this, let me lay it down. <laughs> it's a pepper update. This is my Serrano chili that I overwintered. It's had repeat updates. It's quite tall actually. The thing I want to show you though is we've had a little selection of volunteers here. I think when they topped this up with compost, there must have been a chili seed in there. A chili plant in there? A chili. Not a plant, not a seed. Chili. A whole chili. Because you see how it, it's come out in this little mound. And what I want to do is I want to dig that out and repot it. These are, there we are. Oh. There. And we don't need this anymore. We do, sorry. We don't need to have this here anymore. So I'll shift it out of the way. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. We've got a little babies in there. I've not taken all these babies away from it, but I'm gonna go put it back in the water. And I'm gonna separate all these out. And there's so many, I might have to do them in a little plug tray or something. Or just pick the better ones. And it's quite interesting. I'm really pleased with this actually because I don't have any more of these. And as far as I know, they're going to be true to type. There's a small chance they cross pollinated with something. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just separate them off. Some of them are bigger than others. You can see how many seeds the chili has. That one's quite a good one. I'm going to put that in one of these. I'm going to top it up to the seed leaves. Never should have let this happen, but we're here, we have lots of chilies, we'll see how it goes. Shove them in, in a variety of different ways. I don't have the soil to do this properly. the same with these. These are my Visalis and I wanted to just get them going onwards.
those leggy tomatillos, guess what? They're still leggy. The other batch t went out and managed to get completely slugged or something. I think it was a frost. But these are kind of not so awful. And because of the type of plant they were, I can salvage them. That one's damaged, so we can throw it away. I'm just going to get one, and they're very fragile because they're a bit leggy, and I'm just going to put it right in the bottom, and I'm going to pad that with the soil. Roots will grow. The trick you learn when you struggle sometimes to do things is that a ways of making it right again. Remember I only need two. 